And now for today's Bible question. Today we've been learning about the identity of Jesus, and while some wanted science to prove his identity, he was only willing to show his power and authority to those who humbly sought his help and had faith in him. Jesus often hid his identity from others by trying to conceal his miracles and telling his disciples to not report that he was the Christ. Someone might ask the question, why was Jesus so reluctant for people to identify him as the true Messiah of Israel? It is striking to notice when reading through the Gospels how often Jesus tries to remain hidden and do his miracles without gaining attention. He clearly did not want people to know his true identity as the Messiah of Israel. In fact, he strictly warns his disciples not to reveal this fact to anyone else. We might think it would have been wise for Jesus to be more open and public about his true identity, for that would give the nation more opportunity to receive him and honor him. However, the opposite was to be true. When finally Jesus was questioned by the Jewish authorities about his identity, and they plainly asked him if he was the Christ, he affirmed this to be the truth. It was upon his confession as the Messiah that they were incensed and accused him of blasphemy. They hauled him off to the Roman governor and insisted that Jesus be put to death. When we see the hostility of the Jews and their crying out for his death, we can understand why Jesus was reluctant to share the news of his true identity. Jesus came into the world to save sinners, and God the Father had given him certain works to accomplish. This was all a testimony to Israel about who he really was, but many were spiritually blinded by their pride and religious traditions. It was only the poor, the sinners, and the, those crippled who gladly received Jesus and did not find any difficulties in believing that he was their Messiah. They were privileged to see many miracles and they responded to him in faith, while the proud Pharisees and religious men of that day rejected and despised him. Jesus was not interested in the momentary fame and accolades of the people, but wanted to complete the works his father had given him as a testimony to the nation. Only when the time was right would he identify himself and thereby give his life as a ransom for many. It is remarkable when we think of how the Lord Jesus, who was God in the flesh, our Creator, came into this world, veiled his glory, walked among men, doing good works, healing and teaching, and all the while concealing his identity, except from those who had a spiritual understanding. Peter knew Jesus' identity, not because Jesus told him, but because it was revealed to him from heaven. If you are to be saved and go to heaven one day, then you too must receive this revelation from heaven that Jesus is God's eternal Son who came to die to pay for your sins. It is not enough to believe in a Jesus that is less than God. Some want to claim Jesus to be Michael the Archangel. Some say he is the spirit brother of Lucifer, and some say he is no more than a prophet. But all these claims are false and do not properly identify who he really is. If you do not believe that Jesus is divine, that is God himself, then you will perish in your sins. Identifying Jesus Christ as Lord is required in order to be saved. That is why the scriptures say plainly, if you confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. This points out clearly that our salvation rests on a correct perception and faith in who Jesus really is, and that is Lord of all, a title we give to God alone. Have you ever identified Jesus as Lord? Do you know him as more than a man, more than a prophet, and the only one who can wash away your sin? I hope you will own him as your Lord and Savior today, for apart from him there is no hope for eternal life. If you cannot see this truth clearly yet, then spend some more time with Jesus by reading through all the Gospels and asking in your heart, Who is this man Jesus? 
If you search for him with a sincere and honest heart, I know God will reveal the identity of Jesus to you. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13.